Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday to you. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. It is um, going to be a pretty nice day, I believe, uh, for, for the end of November anyway. I was looking back at some pictures and we had some pretty big snowstorms uh, the end of November in other years. So the fact that we haven't really had a bad snowstorm yet is really good. I'm very happy about that. So how are you guys today? I hope uh, things are going well for you. Um, are you settled after the um, after Thanksgiving rush? Do you still have turkey left over and having having uh, leftovers? <laughs> uh, we are going to our daughter's house today, and we're gonna have pizza. How does that sound? We're gonna go see the baby. My my husband has been away hunting for the last couple of days, so he hasn't seen the baby since uh, since he was born. Good morning, Melinda. <laughs> so we're gonna go, and uh, my other daughter and her son are gonna go meet the baby for the first time. So I can't wait to see how little five-year-old Josiah acts with the baby. He is so excited to meet his cousin. That's always fun. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's devotional. So today is Psalm 95, 2, and it says, Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Come before him with thanksgiving, with music and song. You know, singing is, isn't the only way to give honor and worship to God, but it is a really important way. Singing expresses human emotion. When I'm sad, I listen to music. When I'm happy, I listen to music. But there's just something about singing joyfully that honors God above all else. Now, there's a place for somber, reflective music in uh, worship. Um, I keep thinking about the songs that our choir sings for Good Friday. But we always know that Sunday is coming and worshiping God with thanksgiving is the best way that we can express gratitude to God for what he has done for us. So this psalm was written by a priest or a Levite calling God's people into the temple to worship God. It's meant to remind the people of Israel of the security that they have with Yahweh. How many times do we go to church and we are so distracted by all the things going on in our lives during the week and our thoughts aren't completely centered on God? We're thinking of all the people we need to talk to. Oh, we have to tell so-and-so this or so-and-so that. We need to enter into God's presence the same way these people did. Most churches follow the same routines week after week and it's written in their bulletins because it actually helps us Prepare to focus on God. You've got the call to worship, the singing, the expressions of joy or asking for prayers, giving of your offerings, your scripture, your sermon. These are all ways to help us prepare our hearts for worshiping him. We all have a responsibility to praise God because we are his, right? So whether you're entering the doors of a church or you're starting your devotions every morning, Start it with praise. If you can, start it with music, whether it's singing or just listening to music, even if you just hum along, if you say that you can't sing. I listen to Christian praise and worship music the whole time I'm getting ready in the morning. It just fills me with joy and gratitude that I can't help but feel good by the time I come in the office. So I want you to give it a try. Start your morning with Thanksgiving, with music and song and just see how much better your day goes. What do you think? Are you willing to give it a try? Hi, Tiffany. Hey, Katie, how are you? I want to hear tomorrow that you guys started your day with song. Even if it's, I mean, it's early for some of you. It's almost, it's 10 o'clock here in the East Coast, but some of you, it's still really early. So you can still start your morning with worship. Uh, good. I'm glad you're going to start your day that way. Just go ahead and and uh, and get that music going and and sing along or or hum along or whatever you want. But start it with singing and with praise. And just just I'm excited to see what if it makes a difference in your life. Like I said, I know it does for me. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'm so glad you were here. 
Um, I will see you tomorrow morning earlier because I've got an appointment at 10 o'clock. So I probably will be on at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So it'll be an hour earlier tomorrow. So make sure you uh, check in earlier or you can watch the replay. If you're watching this on replay, make sure you type in replay and like the video so we know that you watched it. Thanks so much and I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.